Hi everybody, today is November 8th, 2013. Well, this explains why there's no definite date set for the Geneva 2 meeting. According to the Syrian Information Minister, they're not going to the meeting. And this also gives you some insight in the hatred between some of the Islamic countries. Saudi Arabia betraying Islamic world, Syria. The Syrian Information Minister says Saudi Arabia is responsible for the death and destruction throughout the Islamic world today including Syria. Amran al-Zabri made the remarks in a television interview broadcast on Monday. He advised Riyadh to halt its policy of sponsoring terrorism against Syria and other regional countries such as Iraq, Lebanon, and Algeria. Zabri publicly criticized the Saudi foreign minister saying Saudi al-Fazali has always driven Saudi policy towards failure. He also branded Fazal as the political side of terrorism practiced by the kingdom. Saad al-Fazal has always driven the Saudi policy towards failure and into a dead end and the Saudi diplomacy will face unmatched disappointment, the Syrian minister added. His comments came after a meeting between Fazal and his U.S. counterpart John Kerry on Monday. During the meeting, the Saudi official reported laminated the international community's inaction on the Syrian crisis, particularly the U.S. decision not to intervene militarily. I have reported how Saudi Arabia is pretty ticked off that we didn't send in the military to take out the Syrian president. Syria has long accused Saudi Arabia of being one of the main regional sponsors of the foreign-backed militants. On Monday, Zabawi said that the Syrian government would not participate in the forthcoming Geneva II peace conference if the aim were for President Bashar Assad to relinquish power. We will not go to Geneva to hand over power as desired by Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Saad al-Fazala and certain opponents abroad, Zabawi said. Syria has been gripped by deadly unrest since 2011, according to reports. The Western powers and their regional allies especially Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey are supporting the militants operating inside Syria. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.